Jake, Katie, and happy Sunday night, everybody. We thank you for being with us, being part of the family here on today's TMJ4. I'd say keep the umbrella handy, perhaps through the morning commute as you get the kids to school, you get off to work. But much of Monday will turn out to be just kind of gray and ugly, a little foggy as well. Storm Team 4 Max radar shows, though, we still have an abundance of rainfall going on even as we speak. It's gradually winding down, and you can see the back edge kind of with this negative tilt pulling off to our east. Still in all, many of our eastern communities getting some moderate shower activity as we zoom in at the neighborhood level up to the north. Sheboygan and northern Ozaki and Washington County seeing some pretty steady shower activity just to the west of Oostburg and also just to the west of Grafton to the east of Jackson in Washington County. And as we travel farther to the south, Milwaukee and Waukesha County still seeing some lighter shower activity, the heavier, steadier stuff up around Whitefish Bay, the town center there. And on down to the south we go where there are still some pretty decent, steady, moderate showers going on in Waterford, all the way down to uh, Wheatland and over to Lake Geneva, extending eastward toward Lake Michigan. But again, this is kind of the last of the steady, heavy stuff as we widen out the view, the back edge of that precipitation with this counterclockwise spin around low pressure pulling away. So how much rain have we seen so far? And we're seeing about a half an inch. Kenosha, about 43 hundredths of an inch. Just about a third of an inch in Milwaukee at the airport. Sheboygan, just about a quarter of an inch in Fondy. You were some of the last to see the rainfall, so about two tenths of an inch there. Here's a live look from our West Bend Tower Cam. You can see the damp pavement down below as that wet weather has been present all day long. And through the nighttime hours, we'll still be dodging drops. That tops your weather headlines, leading to a murky Monday. And then we bump back up in temperatures. Outside right now, not bad for this time of year. 41 in Waukesha, also in West Bend, Milwaukee, and Racine, 42 in Beaverdam, and also in Sheboygan. The winds generally off the lake, and the cooler lake waters have provided some fog, reducing visibility, especially in our lakeside communities like Milwaukee, where right now our visibility down to a quarter mile. So be careful if you're going to be out on the roads. That visibility will provide some uh, hazards out there. When you can't see your hand in front of your face, it makes it difficult to drive. Very warm air in the 50s off to the west. That warmer air gets here soon. Satellite and radar combination showing the storm system, the main one that brought us the rain pulling off to the east. So the rain rolling out tonight continued cloudy as we head into the day tomorrow. Watch future forecasts as we track this rain departing our area and just a lot of leftover clouds for tomorrow with some strong storms of possibility as we see approaching us by Tuesday afternoon. So your storm team forecast for tonight areas of fog. It's going to be kind of cloudy, very warm down to 40 degrees. The rain continues and then for tomorrow, maybe an early lingering shower much of the day, though, just mostly cloudy with patchy fog and a bit warmer up to near 50. Here comes your Storm Team 4 seven day forecast. We get a bit of a break in the action on Wednesday after the potential for some strong storms on Tuesday near 56, mid 50s on Wednesday, St. Patty's Day. Oh, look at the leprechaun doing a little dance there. Yes, a little cooler, upper 40s, still above average with a few raindrops, but not a washout for the holiday. And then as we head toward the weekend, maybe a little rain snow mix returning with cooler temperatures in the low 40s. Hey, our weather kid for tonight, Brielle Doberton. Two years old, cute as a button, has her rain gear handy for the early morning, but I think Katie she'll be able to put that umbrella away as the day progresses tomorrow. Look how cute she is. Adorable. Thanks, Scott. You bet. We